He then began to teach them that the Son of Man must suffer many things and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests, and the teachers of the law, and that he must be killed and after three days rise again. He spoke plainly about this, and Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him. But when Jesus turned and looked at his disciples, he rebuked Peter. Get behind me, Satan, he said. You do not have in mind the concerns of God, but merely human concerns. Then he called the crowd to him, along with his disciples, and said, Whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. For whoever wants to save their life will lose it, but whoever loses their life for me and for the gospel will save it. What good is it for someone to gain the whole world yet forfeit their soul? Or what can anyone give in exchange for their soul? If anyone is ashamed of me and my words in this adulterous and sinful generation, the Son of Man will be ashamed of them when he comes in his Father's glory with the holy angels. Today's word comes to us from the Gospel according to St. Mark and challenges our contemporary ways of living, thinking, and even faith. In a world where comfort and the self are often placed on a pedestal, Jesus calls us to embark on a path that seems contrary to our natural inclinations. It is a call to follow Christ, regardless of the cost. Jesus speaks of his suffering, rejection, and death, and then of resurrection. No, this isn't about encouraging us to forgo painkillers when suffering from a migraine. Nor is it about wearing hair shirts or creating situations that bring pain. Responsible care for the body does not contradict the teachings of Jesus. Christ emphasizes the importance of faith, love, forgiveness, and readiness to sacrifice. His path was not strewn with roses. It was a path of pain, betrayal, and loneliness, but also a path that leads to triumph over sin, adversity, and above all, death, pain, and suffering. In a world that values conformity and any method to avoid suffering at all costs, the words of Jesus sound paradoxical, but isn't life a paradox? We seek happiness in things that are fleeting, forgetting what is eternal. We seek acceptance in a world that changes trends faster than a kaleidoscope turns, forgetting about the unwavering love of God that knows no change. Peter, like many of us, didn't want to accept the thought of suffering. He wanted something better, something easier for his master. But Jesus sternly rebuked him, saying, Get behind me, Satan. You do not have in mind the concerns of God, but merely human concerns. This is a reminder that the path we choose is not always the one God has prepared for us. Often, what is human is at odds with what is divine. Furthermore, Jesus talks about denying oneself, about the cross we must carry. In a world where the self is foremost, where everyone tries to build their own little kingdom, these words sound like a verdict. But it is in renouncing oneself, in serving others, in God's guidance, that we find true freedom. Freedom from selfishness, from vanity, from the emptiness that so often creeps in. When chasing after the wind, we forget what truly matters. The Apostle Paul in the third chapter of his letter to the Philippians said, But whatever were gains to me, I now consider loss for the sake of Christ. What is more, I consider everything a loss because of the surpassing worth of knowing Christ Jesus my Lord, for whose sake I have lost all things. I consider them garbage that I may gain Christ. Paul understood that closeness to Jesus following his path, even if it leads through suffering, 
is of a value incomparable to anything this world offers. So we are faced with a difficult choice, the comfort of this world or the cross of Christ. A life focused on oneself or service to God and neighbor, pursuit of what is fleeting or striving for what is eternal, betting on the roulette of life with Christ or going it alone, let us remember that Jesus does not leave us alone on this path. He promises to be with us, to lead us, and to support us. He does not promise that it will be easy, but he promises that it will be worth it. Worth it because at the end of this path lies something that cannot be bought with any treasures of this world. Eternal life in the presence of God, fullness of joy that nothing can destroy. Let us then choose today whom we want to serve, whether we will follow the crowd, seeking our own comfort, or boldly stand on the side of Christ, ready to carry our cross, whatever that entails. Believing that what God has prepared for us surpasses everything we could ever extract from the world's treasure chests on our own. May these decisions shape our lives, our choices, our every day, May it lead us not to temporary satisfaction, but to eternal joy. May God bless us all. Amen.